So, uh, and you can delete sounds by just doing that. Let's say you didn't like the sound or whatever. You can change all of these. They were changed on um, my previous screen pack. Let me let you hear this. Um, it might be just quicker to do this. Also, now when it comes to the system sounds, there's a bit more going on. I know that the system sounds are for various. Um, different things. Some are interface sounds and I think some are actually music for the screen pack but um oh no 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 that that's that's not right. Um the music for the screen pack goes in a sound file which you can't see anything in here because it's not a sound file but um that where the mp3s go. I'll get into that later when I start um, showing you the um, normal well when I start showing you how to make the system part of the screen pack instead of you know what I've been showing you which has been the fight section. Anyway here's my fight sounds. Let's see what I have on here. As you can see, I haven't changed everything. There is a bit of a um, a problem trying to get good um, time KO and um, double KO sounds. It would be better for you to record your own voice and maybe modify it. Because trying to find free um, voice files on the web that you are not ripping from a game can be kind of difficult. So, you're either stuck with ripping from a game, recording your own voice, recording your friend's voice, or whatever. Some of those sounds in there were ripped from a game, the 321 Rush was, it came from Rush 2049. I really do like that one. Okay, now let me try and open the system sounds. And let's hear what's in the common sound since that file was larger. Those sound like the default hit sounds. I don't know if I should change those, but I could change them in my next screen pack. But this not doesn't really sound like it's a screen pack thing, but whatever. That seems like a good idea. Let's see what's in the system sound file. Oh yeah, this is the one I was looking for. The OG or close open and select sounds. <clears throat> I modified my previous screen pack quite a bit and um, I changed those sounds as soon as I find it again. I have a bit too many folders. I believe the sounds are still the same so I should be able to just listen. These are the sounds I was trying to show you um, in, my la in one of my other videos but it did didn't carry over too well. That's uh, um, when you change windows or exit the Mugen uh, engine sound. 
that I didn't use. Oh wait, it was supposed to be the sound for random select, but something didn't go right with that. It's also another select sound. I got these sounds from ripping um, them off of uh, Rush 2049 after I turned the music off. I did the ripping on my own. Yeah, um, there are also interface sounds that you can find on the web. I can't remember exactly which site to go to, but oftentimes they're not free. Of course, there are ways around it, and there are also some free sites. So I would suggest you go there and you change your system sounds once you figure out which sound goes to what. One way to do that is just to simply listen to Yugen. And try and figure out what those sounds were. Sometimes I can't remember what the back button was. I didn't have it set up. Anyway, once you figure out what the system sounds are, then you can replace the system sounds and the system sounds uh, file, which is this. And you'll be replacing your fight sounds. And you can replace the common sounds if you don't like the hit sounds. The default hit sounds, you know. And that's pretty much it. The only difficult part is just trying to find the sounds. Um, the next tutorial I'm going to do is probably going to be on... Um, it looks like I pretty much finished the fight file, except for I have to show you the win icons and the, um, let's see, it's in here somewhere. Not the round animation, I think I've already done a video for that. It was, uh, I think the combo section. Yeah, I have to do something on the combo section, and I need to show you how to do um, how to make bitmap text. That's so important that I need to show you how to do that before um, I start uh, showing you how to do um, like your um, select screen, game over screen, win screen, main screen and such. The You need to basically do the fonts in advance. Sometimes it could be a good idea to make your uh, to basically do like a, a, a mock-up of what you want before you do your fonts so you can have fonts that match um, fonts that match your screen pack. I think I originally said that usually you do the life bars last but this time I think I attempted to try and make uh, a screen pack based around the life bars or something like that. Anyway, um, I'll probably do the next tutorial in a couple of days.